Baby Shamu is on the move tonight. Good evening, I'm Robin Chapman. I'm Steve Rondonero. Baby Shamu is soon to be high above us on the way to SeaWorld Ohio tonight. This marks the culmination of weeks of controversy and criticism from visitors and animal rights groups. Some oppose the killer whale's move and separation from its mother. You said our Greg Fox joins us live from Orlando International Airport now with the latest. Greg, how's it been going out there? Uh, it's been going smoothly according to spokesman for SeaWorld and Baby Shamu's travel plans are booked through Federal Express. A first class cargo spot is all set for the 3,000 pound killer whale. She has yet to arrive here on the tarmac at OIA. In fact, we hear that she has just left SeaWorld a couple of minutes ago. It should be about a 15 to 20 minute drive. SeaWorld officials call this a routine transfer, but protesters call it a cruel move. For folks who didn't know the difference, it was showtime as usual at Shamu Stadium. But baby Shamu was in a separate holding tank, where later, a huge crane with a sling rolled up to hoist her into a special transport tank. Thank you, thank you. While that was going on, demonstrators armed with signs and infant persuasion protested outside the park. They called the killer whale's move to Ohio SeaWorld cruel, citing the fact that baby Shamu is the first of its kind. I think that we should just take the whales and set them free in, in the ocean. But if they're going to keep a whale in captivity, don't separate a mother and its whale. You wouldn't want to separate a kid from its mother. It's the same thing. SeaWorld experts say it's not the same thing, and that wild killer whales often split from the family group. That decision made, SeaWorld set about the tedious task of gently loading baby Shamu onto a truck that would take it to a 747, the same plane that unloaded a convoy of marine mammals transferred from San Diego to Orlando SeaWorld. Now this action is all part of a 24-hour airlift whereby dozens of marine mammals and other animals are being transferred between various SeaWorld parks around the country. Steven, Robin, we're still waiting for uh, baby Shamu to show up here. We'll keep track of that progress. Try to get back to you later on in the show. All right. And a reminder that we have New Center 2's Wendy Chioji en route to SeaWorld, Ohio. She'll fill us in on the move from that end tomorrow. Okay. Our top story tonight, Baby Shamu is leaving Orlando for Cleveland. SeaWorld is preparing to load the 3,000-pound whale on a jumbo jet. But animal rights groups say the movie, uh, the move, rather, is cruel. Richard Froelich has the story now live from Orlando International Airport. Richard? Well, Bob, at this point, we are waiting to see Baby Shamu. She's expected here in about 20 minutes. She's been loaded onto a transport truck over at SeaWorld. She's going to be taking on this airplane right behind me, a special Flying Tiger 747, which will take it up to Ohio. All of this is not without controversy, however. There are a number of protesters who say this is the wrong thing to do. They were out here at SeaWorld, I should say, earlier this evening, trying to make a last ditch effort to stop this flight. These people say SeaWorld is out of line taking a young whale out of its element. Four and a half year old Kalina, also known as Baby Shamu, will fly out of Orlando late Monday night for SeaWorld of Ohio. She leaves behind her mother and the only home she's known. Protesters say that is experimental and wrong. It's never been done before, and I don't think they should experiment with baby Shamu. It's not, there's too many other whales. If they're gonna, first of all, when was the last time you ever heard of a whale flying? SeaWorld disagrees strongly. A spokesman says they've flown whales successfully for 20 years. One visitor today saw no problem with the move. Well, I presume they know enough about them. So they shouldn't worry about it? Well, they should take care, but I, I imagine they know what they're doing. Now again, Shamu expected here in about 20 minutes. Let me give you an idea of what she's traveling in. It is something that amounts to a shallow bathtub. She'll be covered with a lanolin coating. That's kind of an oily coating to keep her moist as she travels up to Ohio. And the flight will be a little later this evening, around 1.30. She's expected to come. And when she does come here, we hope to bring it to you live. I might add that SeaWorld has again said they've got experience doing this. They brought in a beluga whale from San Diego on this very aircraft behind me earlier this evening and so they say they're capable of bringing Shamu up there without much trauma to her of course some protesters disagree we'll have that for you later in the day back to you
Richard, how long is that flight? I assume it's a nonstop flight also. <laughs> it, is a non it is a nonstop flight, Marla. You're right. And uh, we understand it's about uh, two and a half, three hours, the normal flight time up here. I asked some of the people at SeaWorld uh, what, whether they were going to travel more slowly or whether they were going to uh, travel at a lower altitude to accommodate the whale. Uh, she didn't have an answer at the time. Perhaps I'll be able to find out a little more on that. It, uh, if we come back, I'll have an answer for you then. All right. Thanks a lot, Richard. I hope baby Shamu doesn't get airsick. Baby Shamu, the first killer whale ever born in captivity, has left the only world she's ever known, SeaWorld, and will soon be taking off aboard a special 747 charter jet for SeaWorld of Ohio. Mary Hamill is live at the charter side of the Orlando International Airport. Mary, how's she doing? Well, Michelle, things are running a little behind schedule, actually. We thought that she'd be here by now, but she's still about 20 minutes away. She will be arriving in a special tanker truck and then hoist into that huge 747 cargo plane you see behind me there, that big crane that's working right now, will bring her into the nose of that Federal Express plane. By daybreak, she'll be at the SeaWorld Park outside Cleveland, Ohio. Now, animal rights activists are convinced that they could have stopped this move if they'd only had more time. We all thought moving day was coming February 28th. Well, the only a uh, shred of uh, normal life for this whale is the fact that she uh, has a relationship with her mother and now they're even taking that away. A handful of protesters gathered across from SeaWorld tonight. Inside, the whale show was going on, but without baby Shamu, known to her trainers as Kalina. Shortly after today's noon performance, her last show, baby Shamu was moved to this separate holding tank to get ready for the big move. Since the day she was born, September 25, 1985, baby Shamu has always been a crowd pleaser. She's being sent to Ohio as part of SeaWorld's master breeding plan. She'll replace a whale there being airlifted to the park in San Antonio to be bred. Radio station 102 Jams has been leading the crusade against the transfer. The station has received hundreds of letters from people who want Baby Shamu to stay here. Tonight they encourage listeners to protest. And most importantly, we don't want our Baby Shamu hurt. We saw the first whale ever born in captivity and we fell in love with that whale. And now they're simply moving her um, for economic reasons. The whale here that's being moved has been independent of her mother for over three years. Um, there's really no relationship that we see. The mother's paying attention to her new offspring. Which... Joanne and Al Pecora were crying when they left the stadium tonight. They've seen baby Shamu every week since she was born. It's like losing a friend. You know, it's not like we can just go see her anytime we want to go see her. She'll be gone. Too far for us anyways. Yeah. Too far. Now, during this master breeding plan airlift, some penguins are also leaving this sea world. They're getting some other penguins in return, and they're also receiving two beluga whales tonight and two false killer whales. Those are the smaller ones. They've already been unloaded from that plane, and they've already been taken to sea world. As we said, Baby Shamu should be arriving here in less than 20 minutes. Now, the park in Ohio does not open until Memorial Day, so she'll have lots of time to get familiar with her new environment before she's actually put on display, but we know she'll certainly be missed here. And get accustomed. Yeah. Of course, she'll stay with it and bring back pictures for us. That's right. Thanks, Mary. Uh, thanks, Mary.